Chinese cargo mail handling centre. Customs officers are x-raying two identical boxes on their way out to Japan. Got something interesting here. Can you hold that one? It's hard to tell on x-ray exactly what they are. They do appear to be lizards. But that's not what the declaration says. So we'll take a look now very carefully. OK, there's not much packing in the box. And I can see that there is a number of items bundled in socks. I won't open the socks any further. What we'll do is contact our investigations unit and organise for the items to be taken over to the Toronto Park Zoo and identified over there by qualified staff. It's hard to tell at this stage what condition they're in, whether they're dead or alive or sedated. We've actually now discovered that there are nine boxes in total. They all appear to be coming from the same sender going out of the country to Japan. The boxes are being taken to Taronga Zoo. There, the contents will be identified dead or alive. The animals haven't been properly packed. There's no um, sort of water supply for them. There's actually even no packaging around the box that so they're able to move around and be damaged, bruised, even killed. Nine boxes. There's oh, something that they see okay. as well. So okay. if we can just kind of unload them all and then right. find out what they are, and yeah. then we'll take the boxes yeah. back. Yeah. We'll just set up in the, one of our treatment rooms there, and we can just have all the boxes lined up and just work through them slowly. We will be looking at fingerprinting, so obviously the need for gloves is very important in this case. At Taronga Zoo... That's a shingleback lizard. Very poor condition. Everyone's worst fear is realised. The box is full of native wildlife. I think he's very weak and he's, you know, he probably hasn't eaten for a long time. We'll just put them in individual bags and once we set them up and warm them up and that will sort of give them any treatment that they require. But the thing is, I mean, they're very cramped in these socks. I mean, this guy can't even straighten out. You know, they would have been very sore yeah. you know, in there. It's a cruel act and one that offers a jail term of up to 10 years. Again, in, in another shingleback, very poor condition, pretty much the same. Quite likely they've been already in these bags for a couple of days, maybe. But they may have caught these ages ago as well, and they've just been keeping them, I suppose, and yeah. waiting for them to accumulate the whole lot. They are fairly valuable, just due to the fact that they only have one to three young, and they are more difficult than other reptiles to breed. Because they're monogamous as well, so they don't sort of breed readily. Oh, I did hear around the thousand dollar mark. US dollar. Multiply that by nine boxes and trafficking is big business. When we get back to the office, we'll go through all of this documentation, obviously, to see if there's any clues as to the people who are behind this. Oh. At Taronga Zoo... It's a bearded dragon, juvenile. More than 40 lizards have been removed from the nine boxes postmarked Japan. It's a bizarre sort of concept to me to do something like this to an animal. Eastern long neck turtle. It doesn't look like he's in very good condition. Very dry skin. They obviously don't care too much about the mm. welfare of the animals. I mean, they wrap them up like this, they put them in a box where they're going to get thrown around and then they don't seem to care after that. Yeah. I mean, it's all about the money for them. Very big, you know. Be quite an old animal, this. There were 44 uh, shinglebacks, and um, one bearded dragon, and one uh, eastern long neck turtle. And we're just going to put them into our quarantine area here at the zoo, um, where they'll stay until customs has some plan for them. We have to take all the boxes back to the evidence room because they may be required in court at a later date. Um, we'll also be looking further into the sender's details. Obviously, 96 Cumberland Street, we've already identified that as a hotel in the rocks. So we'll be looking to see if somebody stays there with the initials A and G. At Customs Head Office... We've identified the person at the post office who sent these packages. Two of the packages that were sent yesterday from a post office downstairs in this building. The nine identical boxes postmarked Japan contained a legal wildlife export. 45 lizards and one long-necked turtle. You've got to provide an ID these days. 
with the anti-terrorist stuff that's going on, to send packages overseas. Um, we just tracked down that ID. It's a Japanese driver's license. They have the number, but no name. What we're doing now is trying to make some inquiries in Japan to see if we can track down a name to go with the license number. Customs investigators identified two men allegedly responsible for the illegal smuggling, but they had already left the country. If they return, they may face prosecution. All of the animals survived.